Today I was cleaning my room and organizing and I was looking for ways to store the different products that I have and I was uh, I was finding that in my makeup collection I have a lot of products that I'm close to running out of or I am almost out of or I am completely out of. So um, I was just kind of looking through things and then I started storing these things a little bit differently because I realized I want to keep everything together that I plan on using and I just think that it would be a more effective way to use up all the products because I am on Project Pan, I am trying to save money and I do want to use up all my products. Um, I do like all my products though. It's not because I hate them because I like every single product that I have in my makeup collection I like and I use. So there's nothing that I'm like, oh, I don't ever use that because I use every single thing. Except for some of the new things I got um, because I bought a lot of things before I went on Project Pan, which I should do a review on a lot of the new things that I've gotten. But I haven't gotten to try a lot of them because I went on a big, massive like shopping spree. Anyways, I will get to that in a later video. Right now, I'm just going to show you guys how I store everything that is for my project pan so these are also motivators um I started with this basket so this basket it has a Walgreens receipt because I'm planning on doing video about like the school supplies that I got and how much it cost me and everything and then like here's a Walmart receipt from a couple mascaras that I bought that and then I also kept packaging for a lot of things and highlighted the back of them and um um, also this is for like razors that I just got that I just tried out today and um, I found a similar like off-brand one and then this is a Noxzema one so I'm going to be comparing them and everything and then um, I have like a little sample in here stuff like that I have like the these power crunch bars that I'm going to do a review on because I love them and then I also last but not least all the products that I also have used up I keep in there these are all travel size um, products and then here's a full size primer so anyways um I keep all this stuff in here because this is like my review slash you know things that I want to review basically everything in here is for like review um I keep all the products like the packaging that I've used up I keep it all in here because I'm planning on doing a review on each product that I've used up and saying whether or not I'm going to repurchase it after my project pan. Um, I think a lot of people do that, so um, that's what I'm going to do. So I made sure I kept the packaging and stuff, and it just encourages me. Having this big old basket, it really encourages me to want to fill it up. So I've been trying to find a better way because like, looking through my collection, a lot of times I see something else and I'm like, I want to use that though. I don't want to use this stuff that I need to use up. But I made these two separate baskets. I have, um, the inspiration is from Emily Noel 83 and, um, I think Beauty and Such by Jess. She also has, like, a weekly basket and so does Emily Noel 83. That's where I got this idea from. So this is my weekly basket. And then this is my products that are almost gone. You guys, all these products, I think I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 products in here that I'm almost close to to like running out of. Um, they all, I hit the pan on all these and that's really, really good, you guys. Um, also, I have like some like body products and everything. Um, that sort of counts as beauty related, but I decided that I'm just going to count makeup. Um, but I will do a review on all the body products that I do like though, so that's good. And then my weekly basket, I'm just going to show you guys what it includes this week. Um, in the basket, the weekly basket, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's, um, it's just a basket that you put all your stuff in to remind you, okay, I'm going to use these products this week. Because when you have a bigger makeup collection, I don't think I have a huge makeup collection, but when you have a lot of things to choose from, you kind of gravitate towards the same thing every day if you get in a makeup rut or, you know, if you like a product so much and then you're like, okay, I'm using this every single day though. I have other great things in my collection. Well, 
I started looking at the things in my collection and I figured that I would make this basket out of things that I almost never use. So this e.l.f. 32 colors eyeshadow palette, I think I've done a couple tutorials with it, but other than that, I don't reach for it on a daily basis. I always reach for my naked palette, um, my e.l.f. warm palette, warm beauty book. Um, I'm just looking at all my palettes right now. Um, and which I will do a review on though. Um, I'll do a review on the e.l.f. warm beauty book. But um, this is the 32 colors eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, I, I actually did my whole look today with all the products in the in these baskets so this is where my eyeshadows come from and they're really pretty I can't believe that I made this look out of this palette and it's something that you couldn't find in the naked palette because um you know I have like a reddish brown in there I have like a toned down gold instead of like a yellowy gold so if you have the naked palette and you think you're never gonna need neutrals again you're wrong you're totally wrong because there are so many different types of neutrals, you guys, and I just think that this is really beautiful, and I'm so lucky to have this palette because, you know, you can you can make a lot of good looks out of it. Anyway, this video is getting really long. Um, I have an Aziza blush duo. These don't have the names on the back, but I'm kind of close to hitting the pan. Like, I can actually see the pan, um, like, imprints on it, so I want to use that up. Um, this is actually new. It's my Physician's Formula plumping lip palette and this is in nudes I got this before I went on my project pan I just haven't hauled anything I'm sorry guys um and then uh this is my wet n wild like eye expressions palette and like I use these all as bases and I actually used it today too I used everything today um and then I used the volume the Falsies Volume Express, which I'm finding that it's drying out. Right after I make my mascara video, I didn't, um, I remember I didn't specify that this dries out really fast. So it does, by the way, if you guys have seen my mascara video, um, I didn't mention that, but it, it dries out super fast. And then I also have the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Coral Crush, which I didn't use today. Um, the MAC Nurture shade stick and then the NYX eyeshadow base in white this used to be my favorite and I don't know why I never um, use it anymore and then a nail polish in summer peach from simple colors and it's just this really pretty orange color and then the hip sculpted duo that used to be one of my favorites too um, bare minerals warmth I used to love this stuff, and then I started getting more bronzers, and then I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't use this anymore. Um, the Urban Decay eyeshadow, or um, eyeliner in Zero and Whiskey. This is almost gone. I'm so excited, because um, I want to get full sizes of both of these. But um, anyway, I am using this right now in my waterline, and it's the Whiskey color. So, for those of you who wanted to know that. And then, also, um, the Ulta Extreme Wear Gel Eyeliner. And then it's in Perfection. This is a brown one. And I got it for $2, you guys. I got a bunch of these. I, I didn't haul for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, and then I also got... I'm trying to find a way to use this. That's why I'm, I put it in here. But I kind of bought it just to have in my collection. It's called Ginger Mint from C.O. Bigelow. It's like a lip shine. But it's gold, so I'm going to try to see if I'm advanced enough to pull off a gold lip gloss. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, but anyway, I like all these products. I I just haven't used them in a while. So, yeah, I just think that this is going to be a really good way. Because I already made my, um, my look today out of both of these baskets. So, I'm super excited to continue with my project pan. I only have... Um, one more month to go as of tomorrow. I'll only have one more month. So I'm super excited and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys like this because all these ways, they really, really, really will motivate you to use up what's in your collection, you know, and, um, you know, you don't, I mean, if you have a big collection, you could even do a daily basket. Like, 
okay, I use this product today. Or you could have, um, you could switch the basket around. You could put the basket, like, things I use today, you put it in the basket, and it's like, okay, I'm not going to touch that for the rest of the week. And then at the end of the week, you'll have a basket full of products, and you'll be like, wow, I used all these products in one week. Now, what am I going to use next week? Like, so you could also do it backwards, um, products I can't use this week instead of products that I should use this week. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Sorry that this is so rambly and so long, and yeah, but anyways, follow me on Twitter, follow my blog, and add my sister, um, or not add her, subscribe to her, and subscribe to me if you like this video, comment everything, you know, whatever you guys want to do, and then I will hopefully have another video for you guys soon, and thanks for watching. Bye!